Oh, here we are back again at the uh, special yeah. online edition of Champion 2020. Uh, welcome back, folks. Uh, we had a quick break uh, doing a changeover for uh, Davide now, uh, who's going to share us uh, what uh, Joomla community and an awful thing called banana pizza have in common. Um, I honestly would never have thought that an Italian guy is presenting on banana pizza. Um, <laughs> and I assume you'll have to leave the country shortly after finishing that presentation for that. <laughs> Probably. It's uh, an idea. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You can come to Germany. We have a thing that's called uh, Hawaii pizza, um, which is a pineapple and ham, uh, which is also quite awful. So uh, I think banana pizza, pizza fits that. Perfectly. Okay, um, I accept your invitation. Yes. Awesome. So, in case you just joined for uh, David's presentation, um, my name is uh, David. I'm going to be the uh, moderator uh, in this afternoon at uh, JEP 2020 Online. Um, this is some sort of replacement event for the actual in person conference, Champion 2020, that was supposed to happen in Lisbon uh, this very weekend. Um, for uh, some weird reasons, the uh, conference couldn't uh, happen in person. That's why we're having this uh, special online event. Uh, this year. Um, if you're uh, having thoughts that you would like to share on the social media channel of your choice, uh, please use the JEP20 hashtag um, in order to do so, so uh, others can find it too. Um, and uh, once again, a special thanks to our sponsor, Plesk, which uh, makes this whole thing possible. Thanks for that. And um, a shameless plug uh, from the German Gym Association, which is running Champion. Um, Cancelling the in-person event in Lisbon was quite a pain financially. Uh, so if you have a bunch, uh, a couple of bucks flying around, uh, we would really, really, really appreciate your help. There's a big donation button on uh, jadebeyond.org. Hit it um, and uh, yeah, any sum helps us uh, keeping up our work. So, and now I'm uh, handing over to my uh, name, name colleague, um, so to say, um, and uh, looking forward to the pizza. Uh, David, the stage is yours. Thanks a lot, David. Uh, it's my first time here in Joomla Beyond. I'm really, really excited. As you can see, I'm very, very nervous also. I would like to say thank you to you, David, and to all the organizers that accepted this, my talk. Who am I? I am uh, David Messia. I am a test manager for a consultant company, and I work mainly in the banking environment. I approached the Juno.org in 2016 when uh, resp I responded to a tweet from Soren Beck Janssen asking for help redesigning the Juno.org homepage. From that moment, I was incredibly lucky uh, to be able to collaborate more and more actively in the Joomla community, first in the social media group and then also in the, in the Joomla accessibility team and also recently in the volunteer engagement team. Sorry, I'm very, very nervous. In any case, also in 2016, I have approached to the reality of the JAG Joomla user group, first as a simple member and recently as a coordinator of the JUG Milano Centro. Joomla is a, both a community and a product. You will see that pizza is the main part of this presentation. And only a perfect mix of these two realities can lead to our perfect pizza from these that are all just ingredients to this perfect Napolitan pizza from Naples. During this presentation, I'd like to talk about the community. Why the community? Well, all, all now know that this, but uh, it's always good to remember Joomla is a product born thanks to volunteers and continue to exist thanks to them. Volunteers can uh, who dedicate their free time and energy, often take it away from their families. Without volunteers, Joomla would not exist. This is why the focus of the presentation is on the community. I asked to the member of the virus team I belong to tell me where uh, the country of uh, the origin and where they live. And uh, you can see that there is an incredible variety of uh, countries uh, that is shown. 
Um, for example, Canada in social media, uh, France, uh, Italy, Netherlands, USA, and the UK also in uh, engagement team. There is a UK, Poland, Guatemala, Guatemala, Netherlands, Italy, USA, Germany, Kenya, and also in uh, accessibility team we have uh, Spain, Germany, USA, again uh, Italy, Poland, the Netherlands, the UK, and this is uh, just a small part of the entire community of Joomlers around the world. This means that we are, are an incredible team made up of a people from a different culture and personal characters. We're an incredible team just because, because we have created something that is in the, around the all in the, is a part, sorry, is a part that turn per 3% three, three of the entire World Wide Web. We have uh, some stuff that, some things that we have in common. We love Joomla. We love pizza. You see pizza back in time and all the around, all the event around pizza. And we love to meet, to meet uh, in person when things are back normal. Just to, to remember to all people how wondering was the, uh, the, the mood in Marbella and the last Forum for Future Forum. But in uh, spite of our common passion and our being all volunteers, sometimes the happen the famous Joomla drama. I try to think about this for a second. We are all volunteer. We all love Joomla. So to ma to much, uh, so uh, we spend many hours on that project for free. So why happens Joomla drama? It's possible that uh, some oops of this episode can be, uh, happen for some misunderstanding just a small example. When I was a study, was a study, a uh, university studying, um, uh, I often went to a print shop, and uh, I don't know why. Just started to to call the owner of the, the shop, Melchiorre. Melchiorre is the one of the wise men of the Bible. I didn't see anything offensive about it. Well. After a while, the printer asked me to avoid using this nick nickname because it was uh, a kind of insult in uh, his town. So you can imagine a simple name that is a, a wise man of the Bi Bible can be received as an insult. So, uh, our from this point, I would, decide, I would like to give you a couple of tips just to avoid something bad as a Joomla drama can happen so often. First, be polite. Try to think how the perception of a world changing, changes according to the context where we are in person. And I ask you something, you. You can uh, see, uh, you can uh, hear my tone of voice. You can uh, see my look. You can see my smile, and uh, you can uh, um, see that uh, the attitude is positive. So nothing uh, with uh, uh, for no wife, no fighting. Just a simple question: How are you doing? A simple response: I'm fine. But when we are far away in front of our PC, writing on our keyboard, we can't perceive the look, the voice, and the smile. So the perception of the message may depend on the context. For example, if I'm nervous because I've just had a fight with my wife or, I'm a, uh, or because I'm very busy in the office, it's possible that the message written in an unkind way can be read with an aggressive message instead of a message written just quickly because we all the time run. So first tips is always be polite. Second tips, be clear. We saw before that uh, among Italians from different regions, the same word is different meanings, Melchiorre. Try to expand this concept in the whole world how many 
differences can be exist. How many could be very chaotic? We haven't seen before that the community is made up of the people from different parts of the world. So it's understandable that things can be lost in translation. Just an example of what happened. Here we have the summer chips but in british there are chips in american there are french fries we have in american we have potato chips and in british we have a crisp we have biscuit in british and a cookie in american and we are hungry in in america and the package in british also another kind of um, example the the hamanas a word that is in approx all the word is the same uh, word except in english that is called pineapple and now i would like to uh, to um, show with you just a couple of examples that can be um that uh, can happen you, just in historical events uh, the first, the foolish, the yet poetic charge of the Light Brigade. In 1854, the British, the French, and the Turks were fighting the Russian Empire, Empire in a conflict named the Crimean War. During the Battle of, of the Balaclava, the Russian had uh, the Russian had overrun a Turkish artillery position and very busy moving to the capture guns the guns away at a safer location they could defend. Overall, British commander Lord Raglan had a good view of the battlefield and wanted to stop the Russian stealing away the guns. As a result, he decided to send his light cavalry brigade to quickly overwhelm the enemy, force them to retreat and try to keep control of the artillery. The first problem was that Lord Raglan's order was ambiguous. Advance rapidly to the front, follow the enemy, and try to prevent the enemy carry away the guns. Unfortunately, it wasn't particularly clear which guns. Edwin Law O'Nolan, the officer who carried the order, also misunderstood which gun their order refers. Referred, sorry. When asked at the point to an artillery battery that was, uh, when asked, he pointed to an artillery battery that was a dead ahead and the flag flanked on either side by more artillery guns. The Earl of Lucan, commander of the cavalry, followed the, the order and effectively charged straight ahead into a valley. There was a shot where, where he was shot from three different sides by Russian artillery. The result was a complete military failure, where British suffer, suffered heavy losses, losses and were forced to retreat. The second example is another war, the time when an army fought against insult, itself. It was, uh, it's the year 1788, and the Austrian Empire is at war with the Ottoman Empire. The Austrian had a sizable army commanded by the Emperor Joseph II himself, stationed at Karasebs, a strategically important town that guarded a vital mountain pass. The misunderstanding is that uh, while camped near the town, the Emperor, the Emperor sent a contingent of the hostile cavalry to scout out uh, the surrounding of for any Ottoman forces. They didn't fire any, but they did come across of some Romani that sold them some schnapps, a hard liquor. Soon the Assur were drunk and parting about barrels. Later, an infantry contingent from the same army arrived in the scene and demanded that they be given schnapps too. The Assur refused the infantry didn't uh, have the hostile refuse the infantry didn't like that and soon a fight broke out gunshot and all during the heat of the fight soldiers started shouting Turks Turks everybody panicked and the hustler fled the scene and they rushed into the main camp yelling Turks Turks 
The panic spread and thinking they had caught in an ambush, the army quickly retreats and leaves Karasebs defenseless. The Ottomans happily occupy it a few days later. Frag uh, from this example, you can understand how easy is that misunderstanding happen. And given the passion that the United has, how easy is that Jumla drama happens? And now I would like to just to speak uh, about the volunteer engagement team that uh, uh, is a working group uh, which I'm the team leader from the 1st of March and uh, is born in 2017, focused on very, various aspects about the communities. But just because the communities is, the community is our focus. We are approximately 70 guys from different, 17 guys from different parts of all the world. And we need our one of our goals is uh, help to find you a team where you are comfortable, where can you help in a, a such good way, help to improve the community, bringing in new volunteers who avoid any kind of uh, Joomla drama happens, and help make you comfortable in more in a Joomla community. So you can join the Joomla community, you can have a, a chat, you can feel, uh, you can choose which team is better for you, for your skill, for your uh, energy and your time. And uh, if you need, please join our chat on GLIP, volunteer engagement team, that is a public chat, and we can try all together to help you to find your correct position. Finally, and I am so sorry that it's so, so fast, this presentation, thanks. So you as, uh, I'm open now to any question and please, Remember all the time, enjoy your banana pizza. And then I want a question about this. <laughs> so the, the banana, pineapple, cucumber, and mayonnaise pizza discussion is already ongoing in the chat. I think it's the most heated discussions that we had so far in those 14 hours of, of Jam 2020. Uh, so you're hitting a nerve here, uh, definitely. Um, but um, <laughs> a bit more related to the actual talk topic, uh, you're part of the of the volunteer engagement team, and uh, as we might have uh, people uh, watching the stream right now who aren't that much involved in the community, why should I become uh, a volunteer for Jula? What what's what's my personal benefit? Why why should I? Why investing time? Because you can become uh, you can. Uh, improve yourself. You can try. You can choose to become a jumras for several reasons. Uh, one reason is because you can uh, help something. You can learn something about developing a code in PHP. You can uh, uh, learn something about how you can test something uh, about as uh, um, in uh, to help Joomla to the it's a bag of fun. Or just because you can uh, learn to improve your soft skill. For example, I'm not a technical guy, so I'm not a developer. I am here in the uh, as a Joomla because I can improve my soft skill. I can improve my English skill. I can improve how can I have a relation with other guys in different country and be clear with them, you can understand me, and this is, and we can discuss together. And also because you can learn from different point of view. Because uh, if I I uh, have some kind of discussion, I can see different aspect of the same object, and I can learn something more. Joomla help people to give you a different approach. You can just evolve thanks to Joomla. I, I, I couldn't agree more. I think it's, yeah, exactly to the point. Um, it's, uh, 
it's giving you so many chances for personal development, both when it comes to to technical knowledge about really hard facts, but also about how to communicate with people from different cultures. So yeah, all wholeheartedly uh, agree. And um, the other thing that that kind of caught me when I became a member of the community, became a volunteer, um, it it's it's giving it's giving identity, right? I think in 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 this world we're having I don't know more than four billion people on the globe. Um, so who am I? And in my personal situation, I'm I'm now part of Joomla. I'm a volunteer. I'm I'm improving something that's powering millions of websites. So if I write a lot of code, if I document uh, something that's really making a difference for a lot of people, um, that's also that's just fascinating for me. That's that there's a chance for me to to change a small part of the world from my desk just by volunteering for Juma. This is great point, yes. Also, just remembering the uh, Brian Timan uh, the, uh, presentation some years ago, and he discussed about uh, he can see how Joomla changed the world, has changed all the time, is changing right now because people that is jobless can try to start to work with the Joomla, create some little website for the church or some small community, then uh, start to have a little web agency with a true free guys, then we can improve. And if you help Joomla, uh, you can help Joomla, but you, and Joomla will always help you to improve and to help you to find also a job because also this is a job. For example, also in social media team where I'm uh, sometimes I try to work, I, I can learn something about how works social media in a, a company way. So maybe I can learn how can I do something efficient for Facebook about my company, for example. Okay, so conclusion is clear. Everybody has to become a volunteer for Juma. Lesson yes. learned. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And please also, we need also to have banana pizza because from, diff from different point of view, it's not bad pizza. It's just different. If exists someone like it, a problem. We need just to try, to try it, to taste it. Why not? It will not kill us. It's just a pizza. Yeah, but it's yeah. Okay, I, I, I'm not sure if I can sign that not killing part, um, but it's up to you to try. I, I hope and hope that Chris Keen can help me to find this uh, uh, special kind of pizza, and I will try as soon as possible. <laughs> Luca, Luca already offered it to you uh, in, in, the, in the chat a couple of seconds ago. Um, next time we meet, uh, David will make you eat a banana pizza. So uh, <laughs> you already fought your... Fought, fought okay, your okay. Thanks, Luca. I appreciate your energy and to help me to this thing. <laughs> okay, so famous last words. Um, uh, thank you uh, for your talk, uh, for sharing your thoughts. Um, and for sharing that beautiful banana pizza photo. Um, <laughs> I wish you a great afternoon. Um, and uh, we'll be back on the stream in uh, a little more than half an hour um, with Brian Tiemann again and his talking computer or the talking computer. Um, we'll uh, find out shortly. Um, uh, take a break, uh, get yourself a coffee or a beer or uh, whatever fits your, your personal time zone right now. Um, and then uh, we'll be back shortly after.